Hello everyone, this is 56907 here, and, um, I have, uh, gotten a new screen recorder for my tablet, uh, just today, and, uh, it's a lot better than my previous one, uh, it's a lot better my, than my previous, previous screen recorder, although the, um, pretty much the only flaw is it says, uh, recordable dot, mob, uh, mob, whatever, well, it says the name of it. Uh, on the bottom right corner. Well, I guess that gives it. Uh, I guess that gives itself credit, so I don't have to. Oh, and uh, and when I was uh before I downloaded it, I saw some stuff that showed like the process of someone uploading a video from recorded by this app onto YouTube. So I don't really have to worry about anything. Okay, so, uh, as you can also see, uh, I am playing my, uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.12.1 Alpha Build 3. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to show some features. Oh. I wanted to make a, oh, uh, uh, I was planning to make, like, a bug video, but that didn't really work well at all. Okay, so they added, oh, so in, in 0.12, potions, oh, glass bottles, potions, water bottles even, this Munden's potion, I have really, uh, no idea what this does, I think it's, I, I think it's actually the same thing as, uh, an awkward potion, I've never tried it before, oh, this is an awkward potion. Thick potion, what does that do? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, Rotten Flesh is now in the creative inventory. I, I, I don't remember if that was there before or not. Baked potatoes. Um, blaze powder, slime ball, gas tear, rabbit's foot. Uh, blistering melon. Golden carrot. Golden nugget. Blaze Rod, Magma Cream, Pumpkin Pie. It's a bunch, just a bunch of stuff. Chicken. Well, basically, basically all the foods has been uh, added to the creative inventory. And uh, feather. Wow. String. Bowl. Stick. Coal. Flint. Clay, sugar, cor uh, nether quartz, lots of stuff that has been added to the creative inventory. In fact, redstone has too. Well, redstone has also been added, but you cannot place it. And then, well, you cannot place it down, unfortunately. Boats now have a, a better texture in the inventory. Mm. You can see the the paddle or the shovel there. Um, armor has also been added to the creative inventory. Uh, the well, that was already there. You can get a brewing stand. I wonder if you can actually open the inventory. Oh yeah, you can. That's cool. I might try some brewing afterward. And for some reason, I have a glistering melon. That's weird. It can actually brew potion. If I can, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, so mob heads have been added. Um, Steve heads. Pretty much all the heads that you can get in the creative inventory in Minecraft PC have been added to Minecraft PE. Uh, zombie head. Creeper heads, a uh, wither skeleton skull, and uh, anvils were uh, anvils were also added. Uh, the name naming doesn't really work so well. You name it to he doesn't do anything. Doesn't it just does nothing actually. Um. <clears throat> so. What else? Yes, enchanting has been added. And uh, I'm just gonna get a sword. 
put it in, uh, put it there. In fact, it actually requires lapis, and in creative mode, uh, it does not. It's cool, and if you press it, then, uh, underneath the button with the, the arrow, you can see what enchantment you might, enchantment you might get. So I'm just gonna go with this one. And I got sharpness one, I'm, uh, sharpness one, I'm guessing. You can't really get an enchanted sword in creative mode, but it works in survival. Pretty much just, well, well, it works in survival. You can get it in survival out of the enchanting table. And, uh, while re uh, repairing uh, also works in the anvil. Um, nether quartz ore. You can find this in, well, I, well, if you don't already know, this is found in the nether. And, uh, as pretty much everyone knows, the nether is not, has not been added, and, uh, ignore this, that, what, uh, well, um, you don't get, you don't get the actual ore from the nether reactor thing that's already in Minecraft Pocket Edition, so you just get the, you just get, uh, you just get this, this item here, so, um, soul sand, um, just like in all other editions of Minecraft, uh, you sink, you sink down into it, and it makes you slower, um, no, sorry, um, yeah, um, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, crouching or sh holding, pressing shift. I don't really know what it's actually called, but that has been added in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Sprinting has been added, and uh, the jump button has just been moved to the side. And in the settings, if you go to controls. We can swap, jump, and sneak. Oh, yeah, sneak. That's what it's called. We can swap, jump, and sneak. Uh, I did that. Uh, I did that once, and uh, when I the game crashed, and uh, when I went back in, it went back to default. When I'm fl uh, on flying, the the sneak button just disappears, and uh, you can easily go up and down while walking forward. So you can go up and down like an airplane. Or any other flying vehicle, and what? Uh, and if you press that bo uh, the bottom arrow, keep holding it until you reach the ground. It the flying is turned off, just like it, just like in other, uh, just like in Minecraft PC. Uh, what else? What um, well, I think that's about it. And I'm gonna try to brew a potion. It is something I've never done in Minecraft Pocket Edition, ever. Brew a potion. Actually, that's the wrong thing. I need another quart. Uh, no, I need, I need that, another wart. Okay, now what? Oh, no, well, I guess, I guess I could make a water breathing potion. Uh... Extended water breathing potion. Or make it a splash potion if I can find gunpowder. Okay, now I'm gonna try to craft uh, a splash potion of water water breathing. Oh, look! It actually works. So, I didn't think brewing would actually work in creative mode. Okay, 
okay now ex I'm gonna extend it and um Okay, now... I don't know why I keep doing that. This is actually the first time I've ever tried- uh, I've ever attempted to brew a potion in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Wow, splash potions. Oh, it actually said the name. Potion of water, water, potion of water breathing, eight minutes. Yes. I have brewed a, po oh, I have, a, I have brewed a, po brewed a potion of water, uh, of water breathing. That's a splash, po uh, that's a splash potion. And lasts eight minutes. That may not be very impressive, but whatever. And I don't, I don't think redstone would actually work. I'm gonna try to do a different one instead of instead of that. Um. Okay. I'm using um yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm using a different program, so I'm not too used to it. Okay. That's here. Now I'm going to make a potion of... I actually don't remember if, that, if this makes potion... Um, potion of... Regenerate... Uh, not... Reg uh, I don't remember if this makes potion of regeneration or um, instant health or instant health. I don't. Re I don't remember. No, the gas gear. This thing. <clears throat> it's really good design for the brewing stand and the enchanting table. Uh, enchanting table and the anvil. Wait, no, I think glowstone uh, extends it. Uh, where's glowstone? No, uh, I mean like glowstone dust. What is it called? Glowstone dust. Yeah, it is. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, they do their extent. Uh, yeah, potion of regeneration. Forty-five seconds. Is that useful? Well, I guess so. Oops. Yeah, uh, the, gl the glowstone adds a second one. And now it's not working. Okay, I guess I'll just make it into a splash potion and then throw it at some cows. Maybe can't make maybe can't make a potion of regeneration too. Splash potion of regeneration. Okay, now I'm gonna try something else. Potion of swiftness. Um, well, the first thing I saw was the sugar. Um, unless I find another feature of this update that I haven't already covered.
then pretty much the rest of the video is just going to be experimenting with potions. Mm, awkward potions. Potion of swiftness. I know sugar makes a potion of swiftness, so I don't have to see if it is, if it does. Because I already know it does. I think you can hear a soft ticking. That's my pocket watch. Makes a loud ticking. Well, it makes, it makes a loud ticking. Got powder. Now, if you're in battle and you and you really need, well, if you're in battle and you're about to die, um, then you, um. And you have regeneration potions. Uh, I think it'll be better to have it um, as a splash potion. Um, potion of swiftness, 130. Yeah, that didn't really help. What does the glowstone do? Okay, well, uh, I think a splash potion would be better, would be better, because you can just throw it on the ground. So. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to show. Uh, you may have got, uh, caught a glimpse of it, um, in the, uh, beginning of the video, but if you didn't, then... They uh, they added the nether. And, uh, I don't remember why that was there. Oops. Uh, I think there's something over there actually. I only found a uh, another fortress once, and uh, I just got lucky. Oh look, there is another fortress. I got lucky again. Mainly because that was just a random seed or super flat. Chest. I found a chest. Wow. And, uh, oh, wow. Couldn't see. Ugh. Actually, I think of what I, uh, what I, I, I think you can actually see. Your inventory if you get something like a brewing stand. Nah, I didn't go into the inventory. Never mind. Just a, a tiny two block p uh, pit of lava there. It's kind of funny. Oh, why do I keep placing brewing stands? Um, I don't remember if I said this already, but uh, I tried to do a video in, on this update earlier. It was like a, a bug video. Like a video just containing bugs. And uh, completely failed. Like, two of the bugs weren't even bugs. <clears throat> it's probably just a bug with the world, not with the update. Ooh. This is actually the best nether, for nether fortress I've found in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I found a, a, um, in one of my survival worlds. Uh, I built another portal. 
uh, I built another portal. I sp uh, and another portal spawns right right next to um, another fortress, which was which I thought was kind of really lucky. And then in the Nether fortress, I it was it's hardly another fortress. Well, it was a really bad nether fortress. Um, oh, I forgot to go through the settings. <clears throat> Add any stuff in the settings. You can now go through uh, pe uh, peaceful, easy, normal, and hard difficulties. It's very, uh, it's good, I guess. Um, this hasn't been changed. It's still the same thing from 0 0.11 when it was added. Okay. Um, swap jump and sneak. Uh, swap jump and sneak. I already showed that, but um, basically just swaps the jump and sneak. So basically, uh, on the left side, it's the same. It's pretty much the same thing, and uh, on the Right, right side is the sneak, and also the controls for flying. Okay, so um, auto jump. Whenever you, uh, whenever you walk up to a block, um, it, it, you automatically jump in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Well, now you can turn it off and you won't automatically jump, but I like it. FOV, you can change your FOV. Really cool. Um, render distance it's not, it hasn't really changed. View bobbing hasn't changed. Um, pretty much the only thing that changed here was the FOV. So that's the settings, and uh, I'll be exploring this Nether fortress for quite a while longer, probably. If only I can find another fortress this quickly in my in my PC survival world. Oh, I never I, I never found this before um before in another fortress. Well, I found it in Minecraft PC, but not in Pocket Edition. Mainly because the only other nether fortress was very horrible. So this is a blaze spawner, obviously. Because it... Uh, it's a mob spawner, and uh, spawns blazes. Right. Uh, um, and since it, the difficulty is peaceful, the blazes don't spawn. Now that's another thing. Um, I think since um, 0 0.8... Since zero, yeah. Since zero point zero point eight. Um. Well, in one of my worlds, I um I accident. Well, in zero point eight point zero, um, there was at that time there were still no daylight cycles in creative mode, and uh, I accidentally glitched it. Well, not too accidental. Well, I used a uh, a mod to change the game mode to survival, and. Since survival has daylight cycles, it had daylight cycles. Then I put the world back to creative, and the daylight cycle stayed. So there's there were daylight cycle. There was a daylight cycle on that world. Well, um, when it was night, monsters actually spawned. Actually, I don't really remember if they spawned in creative, uh, um, in peaceful or not. Oh, look, another another blaze spawner. How lucky am I? Um, and you can see the nether quartz right here. And, um, so. Uh, what else was I going to say? All right. Um, I think in 0 0.9, uh, when the 
point. Was it zero point nine that um all the when uh the creative inventory got uh, monster spawn eggs? Well, I don't remember, but when the creative inventory got the monster spawn eggs, um, in creative uh, in creative mode only, even in survival mode. Sorry, even peaceful mode. Well, even in peaceful, um. No, no, I broke the brewing stand. And the point of the brewing stand is to sort of guide me back to here. I guess. Okay, so. Uh, what was I, what was I gonna say? All right. Okay. Whenever um creative mode got mo uh, monster spot eggs, um, um, uh, right. Um, whenever, 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 whatever that time was when creative got uh, monster spot eggs, I don't think that's a very good idea. I uh, got confused. Oops. Um. So the time when creative mode got monster spawn eggs, uh, only in creative mode. If the game, if the um, sorry, the difficulty was peaceful, um, then monsters. Uh, you can always, you can always, uh, always spawn monsters. And then peaceful, I don't think it'll ever attack you. No, I think that was actually in zero point ten when daylight was daylight. Oh, wait, no. And zero point. Uh, I'm just, I'm confusing myself. And uh, usually whenever I get lost in another, I just go down to one of these lava lakes and dig. Because if you don't already know, um, yeah. um. The nether also has bedrock. So, uh... Well... You know, whenever creative mode got... Not, I already said that, like, a million times. Well, in this update, in peaceful mode, the monsters won't spawn. Um... See, creeper doesn't spawn. Um, one thing I f pretty sh I'm pretty sure I forgot to show. Um, if you make a snow golem, if you make a snow golem by putting a, a pumpkin on top of two snow blocks, um. Then it'll make a snow golem. And uh, there's a little bit of a glitch with the pumpkin in creative mode only. Not in survival mode for some reason. This also works with iron golems. Oh. Go, um, I heard the cow with. Um, a glitch with the hot bar. If you select an item, or if you or if you even touch the the hot bar, uh, for some reason, it does the punch attack. Or, well, the it, well for some um no, um oh look another iron golem. Well, for some reason, um uh well. Well, uh, in the previous updates, um, when you selected anything in your hotbar, it didn't, like, actually press the screen. As you see, I'm just t tapping the hotbar only, and it's placing, it, it's placing it. So, if I come up to a cow holding an iron block, and I select my sword, it gets hurt. Oh, I f forgot experience. Experience has uh, experience has also been added. I think I forgot to say that. Oh, bottles bottles of enchanting as well. Okay, so yeah, apparently the 
the hot bar uh, is like transparent not really transparent but um like it's not clear uh, um how do you say how do you say um it's I, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's sort of like... I guess you could say it's... Oh, okay, no. Well, you, could, you could say that uh, the hot bar is um, sort of clear because if you press if you press anything in the hot bar, it sort of touches the screen. If you want to try something, maybe if I take that down a little, that doesn't do anything. Um, as you can see, I'm having a few troubles. Da. Why did it... Okay, that's better. Um, maybe the hot bar is just too small. And my thumbs are too big, so it's touching the rest of the screen. I don't know, that's probably not it. Uh, basically, the... Um, uh, what I'm guessing is in... Earlier updates, the hot bar, uh, the hot bar is sort of like a, a sort of overlay, sort of overlaying the screen. But now the screen is overlaying the hot bar. So if you tap the hot bar, you tap the screen. Well, I mean, yeah. But in the previous updates, if you tap the hot bar, you don't tap the screen. Well, what I mean is, sort um, anything that's not. Like the, the the control the mic uh, the controls for whatever you're doing or the hot bar um that um what I'm saying is like that's not the screen but uh and uh uh the things that that I'm saying that's not the screen has been overlapping the screen pretty much always so if you tap that you don't tap the screen. But now the screen is overlapping the hot bar, so if you tap the hot bar, you're also tapping the screen. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, then whatever. I'm actually going to look at other um, reviews of this update and see if that happens to the uh, see if that happens to them. And uh, how long has this been going on for? Thirty minutes, about probably thirty-three minutes. That's what I think. Um, so that's just a bug I, that I hate, cause yeah. But uh, also in survival mode, um, let me just show you. On survival mode in the inventory, you cannot select another hotbar slot. And uh, if you press the, the thing that opens the inventory, um, while the inventory is open, it won't close. That is some stuff I hate. And look, the experience saved. How weird. Um. Oh right. Um. They were. They also. Um. I. Oh yeah, they added hunger, which is really cool. But, uh, I think I like hung. Why do I keep doing that? Oh no. Okay. There we go. So, bottles of enchanting. Oh, they also added golden apples. Which I think is quite awesome. Bottles of enchanting is basically the same thing as splash potions. Um, actually, splash potions and bo bottles of enchanting pretty much work the same. So, if you throw a bottle of enchanting, it just, it's just like a normal splash potion, and, uh, well, I'm, 
So to throw, to throw um, a splash potion or a bottle of enchanting, uh, you you basically do the same. Uh, basically, uh, uh, pretend like you're eating it. Then it will throw on the ground wherever you're aiming. So it um, puts out blue particles and experience orbs. And uh, for some reason, the cow's voice went higher. Weird. So, is that all? I think that's all. Pretty sure that's pretty much everything. Uh, there's some items that has been added in the creative inventory that I did not mention. In fact, there's a lot of items. Like, these... These gems. Actually, those aren't, re those aren't really gems. Uh, diamonds. Iron. Gold. Emerald, they're, um, I'd say they're minerals. Actually, I want to try trading, trading with a villager. I wonder if that works. Does trading work? Please say tra trading works. For some reason, sometimes a, a few punch um very quickly then you can punch the the mob that you're punching like, while it's in midair so you can punch it like twice in a row or more pr probably what is this oh i never experimented with these oops that looks kind of cool better cover up this void hole Okay, now a fish. Any fish? Fish around here. Maybe I'm, I'll get a cook salmon. Maybe you can't tame a cat that size. Maybe you can't use cooked food, fish. I'm gonna try it with a raw salmon. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. I have a new cat. Nah, it doesn't really work. So I think I have to get it into, like, um, love mode? I'm um, not love mode. Also, um, the Eyes of Ender haven't been added yet, or at least I haven't found them. So, can't go to the, uh, can't go to the end. Although we can go to the nether. New dimension, yay! You're cool. You look, uh, you look like a cat that, that used to be in my house, and now is buried buried in the garden. Well, kind of. I don't actually remember how he looks. You actually look very different. You look more white than than him. Well, that is all the bu uh, all the features that I can remember. If this video has mo has been going on for like three hours, then very sorry. I just, if that happens, then I went really went overboard. In fact, if the video has been going on for uh, forty minutes, I definitely went or, or still definitely went overboard. And even if it went third, if it, even if it's if, if even if it's been going on for thirty minutes. 30, just 30 minutes, I've definitely gone overboard. And, last time I checked, it's been going on for 33 minutes. Uh, it's 5 o'clock. It's 
Five o'clock. Forty minutes. That's a new record, and it look at that. It's raining. What a good time to show you um, something that happens in the rain that I thought wouldn't actually uh, doesn't. Oh, uh, I thought this um, wouldn't actually be implemented, but well, it was. If you have a snow golem and it starts raining. Poor snow golem, it starts to die. And death. also, the golems do not drop anything upon death. And bosses have not been added, as you can see. I attempted to build a wither. He doesn't. He doesn't. Well, he didn't want to spawn. Also, for some strange reason, when I'm on the ground in this world, the sky turn uh, um, like underneath the horizon turns black, which is strange. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, in, in the rain, it's worse. So, and uh, it actually looks very cloudy, which is quite cool. Apparently, fish loves. Oh, sorry, cats love salmon. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video that's been going on for at most 45 minutes. Um, let me check. Um, 42 minutes, probably. Well. Okay. Not 50 minutes. Can that be right? I don't know. You know, this video has probably gone over an hour. And it has. Really sorry. But, whatever. Actually, it probably hasn't. Yeah, I'll figure that- I'll figure that math out later. And, uh, well, thanks for watching.